Hello Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. But today we bring you updates on the unfortunate events surrounding Sharon Osbourne. Before we start, I kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. David McCarty was born on November 23, 1969, in United States. McCarty was an American first baseman and outfielder in Major League Baseball. The Minnesota Twins of Major League Baseball, MLB, selected McCarty in the first round with the third overall selection of the 1991 MLB draft. He made his MLB debut on May 17, 1993. From 1993 through 2005, McCarty played with the Minnesota Twins. He batted right-handed and threw left-handed. McCarty was claimed off waivers by the Boston Red Sox from the Oakland Athletics. The Red Sox released McCarty in May 2005 after the team signed first baseman John Olerud. He retired and was a Red Sox analyst on NESN from July 1, 2005 until the end of the 2008 season. McCarty died at the age of 54 and he died from cardiac arrest. Tribute to the Star David Pryor was born on August 29, 1934 in United States. Pryor was an American politician who served as a representative for Arkansas's 4th Congressional District from 1966 until 1973 and as a senator from Arkansas from 1979 until 1997. A member of the Democratic Party, Pryor also served as the 39th governor of Arkansas from 1975 to 1979 and was a member of the Arkansas House of Representatives from 1960 to 1966. He served as the acting chairman of the Arkansas Democratic Party from 2008 to 2009. Following Bill Guatney's assassination, Pryor first won elected office representing Ouachita County in the Arkansas House of Representatives in 1960. Seated as a member of the 63rd Arkansas General Assembly, Pryor would win re-election to the seat in 1962 and 1964. Pryor died at the age of 89 and he died naturally. Tribute to the Star Lourdes Portillo was born on 11 November 1943 in Mexico. Portillo was a Mexican film director, producer, and writer. The political perspectives of her films have been described as nuanced and versed with a point of view balanced by her experience as a lesbian and Chicana woman. Her films have been widely studied and analyzed, particularly by scholars in the field of Chicano studies. Portillo's films generally focus on Latin America and the experience of Latin American-born immigrants in the United States. During her studies at the San Francisco Art Institute, she made her film debut in 1979, alongside co-director Nina Serrano, focusing on the experience of a Nicaraguan refugee of the 1972 Managua earthquake in San Francisco. Portillo died at the age of 80, and she died from short illness. Tribute to the Star Terry Allen Anderson was born on October 27, 1947, in United States. Anderson was an American journalist and combat veteran, 
he reported for the Associated Press. In 1985, he was taken hostage by Shia Hezbollah militants of the Islamic Jihad organization in Lebanon and held until 1991. In 2004, he ran unsuccessfully for the Ohio State Senate. In December 2003, Anderson announced his candidacy on the Democratic ticket to represent the 20th district in the Ohio Senate. His opponent was Republican candidate Joy Paget, who had been appointed to the seat earlier in the term. Paget ran controversial ads suggesting that Anderson would be soft on terrorism. The ads showed Anderson shaking hands with one of his former kidnappers. He received 46% of the vote in a district that leans Republican. The seat has been held by Republicans since 1977. Anderson died at the age of 76, and he died from heart surgery. Tribute to the Star Chris King was born on December 11, 1991, in United States. Chris was an American rapper. He was best known for his collaborations with his best friend, Trippy Red. In 2016, Chris released Welcome to Fantana as his debut mixtape. In 2017, King was featured on Trippy Red's A Love Letter to You with Love Scars. Chris died at the age of 32, and he shot dead. Tribute to the Star Andrew Davis was born on 2nd February 1944 in United Kingdom. Davis was an English conductor. He was the longtime chief conductor of the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, the BBC Symphony Orchestra, and the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. He was music director at the Glyndebourne Festival from 1988 to 2000. And especially known for conducting the traditional Last Night of the Proms, including Last Night Speeches. He was music director and principal conductor of the Lyric Opera of Chicago Season. Music critic Alan Blythe described Davis as a conductor whose technical skill was enhanced by an inborn enthusiasm for and dedication to the task in hand that he was able to transfer to the forces before him. Davis died at the age of 80 and he died from leukemia. Tribute to the Star Philippe Lodenbach was born on 31st January 1936 in France. Lodenbach was a French actor. He appeared in more than 100 films since 1963. Philippe Lodenbach, the nephew of Pierre Fresnay, was trained at the French National Academy of Dramatic Arts. He earned a nomination for the Moliere Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1998 for his notable performance in Luigi Pirandello's play, The Crazy's Hat. Laudenbach died at the age of 88, and he died from short illness. Tribute to the Star Cecil Williams was born on September 22, 1929 in United States. Williams was an American pastor, civil and LGBT rights activist, community leader, and author who was the pastor of Glide Memorial United Methodist Church in San Francisco. He was one of the first five African-American graduates of the Perkins School of Theology at Southern Methodist University. Subsequently, he hosted political rallies, which drew in very diverse key speakers as a result of the event's inclusive and inviting nature. Drawing on his experiences in the civil rights movement, 
Williams was also one of the first African Americans to become involved in the gay rights movement. Williams died at the age of 94, and he died naturally. Tribute to the Star Helen Vendler was born on April 30, 1933, in United States. Vendler was an American literary critic. Vendler was a professor of English at Harvard University from 1984 until her death. From 1981 to 1984, she taught alternating semesters at Harvard and Boston University. She has said that she retained her affiliation with BU for several years to ensure that she wasn't some little token person at Harvard. In 1985, Vendler was named the William R. Keenan Professor of English and American Literature and Language. From 1987 to 1992, she served as Associate Dean of Arts and Sciences. Vendler died at the age of 90, and she died naturally. Tribute to the Star The recent scare follows the former star of MTV's The Osbournes' numerous health ailments over the years, including a colon cancer diagnosis in 2002 and the revelation that she underwent a double mastectomy 10 years later as a preventative measure because she had a genetic predisposition for breast cancer. Sharon Osbourne has updated her fans after suffering more than just a ghostly scare on the set of her paranormal TV series. The 70-year-old shared a brief note on her Instagram Monday night indicating that she was back home and doing great while thanking her supporters for uplifting her after her hospitalization for a medical emergency she suffered while filming the Jack and Kelly Osborne Night of Terror television show with her family and she is alive and healthy. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.